To create a Google Form, I recommend that you find the folder that you want it to be housed in in your Google Drive. I'm going to make a quiz for Chapter 6. So I'll open up my Chapter 6 folder, click on the new button, more, and then open Google Forms. First thing I always do with a form is to give it a title. I click in the upper left hand corner so that it changes the title up here too. And that's what I'll be able to see then in my Google Drive. The very first question that I always ask is for my student identifiers. So I ask for a first name, I require it, duplicate it, and ask for the last name, duplicate it one more time, and ask for a class period. You could ask for a homeroom teacher or however your students are divided up. This is a good question to switch to a multiple choice, even though it's not a right or wrong answer as far as grading goes. It is a right or wrong answer as to organizational purposes. Add in as many periods or identifiers as you need. And this will also then keep any of your students from entering in one versus first period or first or spelling the word. It will keep it a little bit cleaner on the back end. At this point, I also have my quiz document open in another tab. I'm going to add in a section break. And here's actually where I'm going to type in my questions. I'm going to get rid of this so there will be nothing on here. And then I'm going, I'm ready to add in my first question. When I look at my quiz, I see that it's all multiple choice. Depending on what kind of a quiz that you are giving, your question answers, question option might be different than mine. I'm going to take a shortcut and I'm even going to do some copying and pasting. I'm going to copy my question, paste it in. And at the same time, I'm resizing my screen so that I can see both pretty much at the same time. Continue building your form, and when you're ready to, click on the skinny snowman at the top and preview. This is actually what your students will see. In order to move through the form, you have to fill in something. Don't worry, we won't submit this. So this is what their first question will look like. Looks good, so I'll just continue on.